Hello, my name is Josh Beck. I'm a technology teacher in San Antonio, Texas. In this tutorial, we're going to take a flat surface and we're going to make it appear as though it's bumpy using textures. We're not going to actually add any faces. We're just going to texture it and make it uh, look uh, rough. And this is, uh, a, this is a technique known as bump mapping. Um, it's pretty simple. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to head up to where it says model. And uh, I'm going to come down. We're going to pick the material preset. Okay, and this is just a series of windows that makes it a little easier to work with materials. And uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a lamp in between the camera and the default cube just to increase the light a little bit. And you can see over here on the left, um, got my 3D cursor. I'm going to choose add lamp, lamp. And then I'm going to come up here to where it says render, and I'm just going to render current frame and take a look at it. F12 is the shortcut for that. And uh, the reason why I'm doing that is just to see that I've got enough light on my object that I'm able to see the changes that I'm making. Okay. So we've got a lamp, and I've selected my cube. Um, over here, we've got all of our material options. Um, a, a concept that's important to understand when uh, working with 3D modeling is uh, different types of reflection. There's specular reflection, and then there's diffuse reflection. If you take a, a flashlight and you shine it onto a dark cloth, it technically is reflecting the light. The light is hitting the cloth, and it's, it's highly scattered. That is uh, diffuse reflection. Uh, if you take flashlight and you shine it onto a metal surface, um, it's the, the light maintains its angle, and uh, the, the reflection is very directed and concentrated. That's, uh, that's specular reflection, okay? So uh, when we're talking about the difference between diffuse and specular reflection, right here where it says COL and SPE, well, that's what we're talking about. Uh, the base color is a diffuse reflection, so I'm just going to go ahead and choose blue. Basically, we're picking a color for the cube, all right, and, uh, well, purple, I guess. You can see the cube has turned purple. And if I wanted to, I could increase the, uh, the specular color, too, and increase the, um, the reflective property of it there with uh, specular. Okay. So uh, we've basically just taken the cube, and we've turned it purple. And if I go up to Render Current Frame, pretty simple stuff. Okay, we've got ourselves a purple cube. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do is we're going to add a texture to it. I'm going to hit F6. And what that did is down here, I just basically um, came to the texture buttons. All right. Um, we've got, uh, right now, we're going to go ahead and we're going to take this initial texture, okay? And we're going to add one that's called, you can add an image to it, all the stuff um, that we've got here. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add clouds, okay? And, uh, you know, we could add the, the noise size. You can basically play with some of the parameters up here. And uh, by doing that, if I go to Render Current Frame, you'll see that we've got a cloud kind of uh, texture now that's been applied. But uh, over the blue cube, you can see that the basic color is magenta. All right. So uh, we're going to go back and I'm going to hit F5. And over here in, the, uh, in our material buttons, if we scroll down, okay, I can scroll the mouse wheel up and down. Uh, we've got a panel here that says Map 2. Okay, this map two is uh, where we deal with our textures. And you can see right there, there's our magenta color. So I'm going to pick that, and I'm going to change it to white. And if I go and I render current frame now, you can see that the cloud um, texture on the cube is now changed. All right, um, so uh, the last thing we're going to do is we're going to make it look bumpy. Pretty simple. Um, remember, uh, it. A normal is the direction in which an object is facing, okay? Um, what we can do is we can take that texture and we can create normals from that te those textures right here by choosing NOR. Causes, it says right there, let's read it. Um, haven't read this one yet, but let's do it right now. By mousing over, it says causes the texture to affect the rendered normal. So I'm going to check the NOR under map 2, okay? And then by coming over here, we've got a value for NOR. I'm going to bump that up to about 17. going to make it, you know, particularly pronounced. And now the texture itself is creating normals on the cube 
that make it look like that that allow the light to scatter and uh, the net effect is this if I render the current frame you can see now that the cube itself appears bumpy all right we haven't created any extra faces it's still a flat surface but just by using um, the map to panel and uh, texturing we have uh, created what appears to be a bumpy surface so that's it pretty simple um, pretty simple introduction to texturing there thanks for watching and keep an eye out for other tutorials